The following video is not made for kids under 13. If you are not 13 years old, please exit out of the video now. And please, YouTube, do not sue me. What's up guys, Leon Moki here, and I'm back with another part of What If Izuku Had Cloud's Powers. This is part 5, in the last part, Izuku showed off his skills with his quirk, and he still hasn't fully felt one for all yet. Well, not that he knows yet, and catching up with Tifa as well. So he heads back to home. So that said, let's get into this. Right after arriving to back to his apartment, he prepares to head home and see until he sees a young woman with a braided hair and a long red coat and a dress. As he's, he 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 sees, hey, big sis Aerith, is that you? I haven't seen you in a while. Soon after, the girl turns around and says, oh, Izuku, it's been a while. S soon after. Yes, I've been working at my flower shop. It's been doing pretty well. I haven't had much time to come home like I used to. It's, huh, I see. You know, I haven't been down there in a while. Sorry I haven't said hello, hello in a couple of years. As the two catch up a little bit, Aerith is Zack's girlfriend. To many of you who have played Final Fantasy VII, Aerith is an important aspect to not just Cloud, but also Zack. Mostly Zack being since they were together. So yeah. In this, Aerith is Zack's girlfriend and was going to be his fiance as well. Alright, let's get back into this, shall we? After they catched up a little bit and he told her that he's now into UA High, that he's going to become the greatest hero, the number one hero, and per just like Zack. As she begins, as she's giddy, giddy and glad to see that, see that Izuku is is truly <laughs> embracing his dream now, and will be the greatest hero. Soon after, Izuku decided to leave and get back home, as he says, "If you want to talk anytime, or if you ever come back home, Aerith, I'm willing to talk. I mean, I know it's been lonely without." Zack, after all. As he said, it's okay. I really, I still miss him though, but I know that he wouldn't want me to keep dwelling on the past. Just keep being yourself, and I hope to see you grow even better. Better as a hero. Uh, yeah, I will. He leaves the door and it was Aerith with a big smile on her face. Soon after, the di next day, all Might arise through in class 1A, going through the door, doing his dramatic pose as usual, as everyone is excited seeing All Might and is their teacher in this school, he is a teacher here at UA, and they're so excited and hyped as ever. As he tells them that today is their first day of hero training, and soon they are so excited, even Bakugo realized that this is fight training. Soon. All Might tells him, "Correct, young Bakugo. You can. You all will be will be pairing up in teams. Also, this is the first time you'll be using your costumes. Each, you signed a form during your entrance exam, saying on what would you want for your costumes and what you would get, and how you would want to improve on your quirk. So, these are all. So, you can also change your designs if you feel like it. So, hope you understand." As everyone prepare, prepares to get their costumes on, everyone has their usual costumes as, as same. Even Izuku has his traditional costume that he got from his mom, just like before. Just like before, since, well, he didn't really have, he did have an idea for his costume, but his mom already made him a costume anyway. And he didn't want to feel denying it after all. As he sees Uraka's costume and gets a little bit shy, but also 
looks good, tells her that he that looks good on her a lot. Soon after, he sees Tifa as she comes up to him. Says, so, what do you think of my costume? As her costume is kind of like her Final Fantasy VII remake design, actually. I would use the original or possibly even Avid Children, but I'll use Avid Children next time. Sorry, guys. At any rate, he says, huh, really look good. As he's also getting a look, he blushes a little bit and turns away. He says, hmm, hey, uh, you okay, Izuku? He said, yeah, never better. He, because, well, you know, if you guys know. Soon after, All Might tells them, you all look major pros. As, he's, as All Might also looks at Izuku, say, seeing that his outfit and wondering, okay, now I see where he got this from. As Izuku still looks up to All Might and being his inspiration, but he, he, Zack will always be his main reason why he wants to be a hero, of course. As everything goes on as usual, as normal, as ever. Also, as for the second Final Fantasy character in Glass 1A, I said a boy with a monkey tail. That boy being the protagonist of Final Fantasy IX, Zidane Tribal. And Zidane's quirk huh, is basically huh, is basically agility. He's at He's athletic, fast, and quick on his feet. Not only that, he's able to stick to surf. He's able to walk on surfaces easily. He, his costume is kind of similar to his Decidia costume, actually. So yeah, you guys now know. At any rate, let's get back into this. As all my shit tells them that they're that they'll be pairing with each other on teams. Izuku will be partnering up with Ochiko just like in canon and be fighting against Bakugo and Ida as well. I would pair him up with Tifa, but eh, I decided not to. Sorry guys, I, I know you guys wanted a Tifa and Izuku well ship, but I'll save that for later. At any rate, Tifa gets a little bit jealous because she wanted to see partner up with Izuku and see him in action, see what kind of skills he actually has after all since she never got to see him in the entrance exam uh, time goes by and they prepare for the first round of their training exercise as izuku ha makes a plan with ochiko realizing on knowing how this is going to go out anyway knowing bakugo he's going to go after straight at izuku realizing that they t the two of them have a grudge with each other knowing that Knowing that, he'll, he'll distract him and take care of him easily. Then head out and take care of Ida after, after beating him and help out Uraka. And there, they'll be able to take care of the rocket easily. Soon after, that's their plan, as Uraka says. So, but what if you can't? I mean, Bago is kind of strong, after all. And she said, yeah, but I know how the guy acts. He's pretty easy to read, if I'm going to be honest. So, let's do this. They enter the, the, where, the building, and as soon as they get up to the second floor, Bakugo shows itself around the corner and shoots a blast at Izuku as Izuku grabs his sword and blocks the, and blocks the attack. However, half of the, the half of his cowl on his right side basically burns off, just like in canon. As he says, so you were able to block that. However, looks like your little costume is now messed up. Sorry about that, Deku. As he said, <laughs> whatever, Kachan. I got Uraka, go. I got, like I said, take care of the bomb and I'll take care of him. As he says, you're underestimating me, Deku. I swear. When I'm done with you, you both are done for. I'm gonna kill you! As he rushes at Izuku, realizing that Izuku's in a narrow hallway, he can't really swing his sword properly, so he has to focus on hand-to-hand -hand combat right now. Puts his sword on it on his back, right? Puts his sword on his back and decides to counter his attack by grab 
dodging the explosion and grabbing him and throwing him to the other side of the hallway, seeing them, seeing on how much strength he has as he realized, I hold back on that throw, Kachan. Hope you know that, hope you know that I, if I wanted to, I could throw you through this wall if I needed to. But I'm not trying to put you in the infirmary. Not yet, at least. As he says, you're looking down on me again? You, a weakling. You, who was once quirkless. You, who just grew up quirk just out of nowhere. I swear, you're going to pay. Bakugo gets back in a stance and shoot and puts out his arm. Izuku ready for another explosion. However, Bakugo begins explaining his quirk like usual. Saying about his sweat is like nitroglycerin and everything. And the gauntlets he wears stores up his sweat, creating a giant explosion. After hearing that, Izuku realized that, oh shit. So he rushes at Bakugo at full speed as much as he can before he can pull the pin. All Might also realizes this and tells Bakugo, yep, Bakugo to stop. However, he said, as long as he dodges it, he'll be fine. I just want to show him how weak he truly is. He prepares to pull the pin, but as soon as he does, the explosion hits, but it doesn't hit Izuku. At the last minute, he dodges it on the side and is right next to Bakugo. As he's right next to Bakugo, he punches him, causing the explosion to just go everywhere around, around the hallway, almost shaking the entire building as a whole. Uraraka also gets overwhelmed feeling this while she's trying to get the bomb from Ida, knowing that this, knowing that it's impossible to get him with his speed as Ida also feels, well, nervous with Bakugo as his partner, wondering what he's doing. As, ba as Bakugo lands in a big open area, realizing that this is the place where Izuku was hoping that he'll be, that this is the place where he can, u where he can go all out. As he walks, walks through the hallway, where smoke is everywhere, he comes out of the smoke, wielding his sword, saying, Kachan, I used to look up to you when we were kids. But every time you looked down on me, every time I tried my best, I tried hard to become strong. I tried, I told you I wanted to be a hero, you put me down. But even after I developed my quirk, I never looked down on you. I never saw you beneath me, not ever. However, you kept having that mindset. You kept thinking that I, that I thought you were weaker than me since I had my quirk now. However, now I'll show you that I really am stronger than you. Not because I think you're weaker than me. It's because I plan on surpassing you. Always and forever. As energy begins swarming through Izuku's buster sword, as intense power goes everywhere, as he sees, seriously, what the? He feels a powerful, as more energy draws more into the blade over so much more. As All Might says, young Midoriya, he says, you have to stop now. If you, you're going to do the same as Bakugo did. As Hizuki says, I can't control it. I don't know what's happening. It's never been like this before. There's too much power. He begins losing control of his, of his beam blade. And so much Mako energy swarms inside the pow inside the sword. As he says, Deku, what are you? Are you seriously doing this? Stop now. As he tells, I can't, Kajan. I can't control my quirk right now. As Izuku feels so much power, he begins realizing, is this All Might's quirk? It, is this the power that he was talking about? As he realizes, I need to stop now before it expands too much power. He decides to just, sw just swing it to the side of the building as However, Bakugo was still hit by the huge shockwave, causing, causing him to not be knocked out. 
Izuku was knocked against the wall, but still conscious. As he says, oh, man, I guess I better prepare myself from now on with that quirk, with all my quirk. Putting his sword on his back, he heads to the top as quick as he could. As everyone see, man, Midoriya really has some strong quirk. I didn't expect him to have, I didn't expect him to have that much power. Yeah, but it looked like he couldn't control it. That was weird, don't you think? As All Might saying, this must be the power of one for all. He's, he's starting to feel it. I guess I may, may have should have taught him how to control it. Soon after, Izuku arrives to the top where Uraka is st still struggling. And they're still trying to get their footing after the huge uh, beam blade that Izuku launched. Izuku basically grabs the rocket while they're still disorient and they win the exam as All Might tells him that team that heroes win as Bakugo soon wakes up and begins thinking where the hell did that nerd go to as he, All Might tells him young Bakugo the, the exam is over the heroes have won as he said seriously Seriously? Ah! As everything goes as usual as canon. However, some things change a little bit. Since, well, Zidane has actually replaced Ojiro in one of the, exa in the exams where, o where Ojiro would have been with, well, Toru. He's, Zidane is actually. And they actually had quite a bit of a plan where Toru would use you still use her invisibility to get the upper hand on try to get the drop on both Shoto and Shoji Zidane actually made a different plan he would actually go and take care of oh take care of them instead and while Hagakure kept kept an eye on the rocket since he has a since his quirk is a lot more faster and he's a lot more agile and he also has a trump card just in case things get a little bit messy Shoto still freezes the entire area, trapping, well, Ojiro and, and Hagakure as well. However, he gets, however, Zidane doesn't, well, trap, isn't trapped so easily, actually, because of his, because of his ability. He can actually control his life energy and basically use techniques, a lot, mixed in with his quirk, actually. So... He, he he frees himself from the ice while Shoji and Shoto actually enter the well the building. He takes them down easily. He comes in and actually gets close to Shoto. He creates an ice barrier to stop him. However, Zidane was was too quick and basically knocks out Shoto on his left side. Even though it is full of ice, he breaks through it pretty easily. As Shoji also sees this and tries to take care of Zidane as well, but moving too quickly, he kicks uh, Shoji in the face, in the face, knocking them both down and freeze, and also capturing them, causing their team to win. As he says, <laughs> "Easy peasy, if I do say so," causing their team to win. As for Tifa replacing Mineta being being paired up with Momo, their theirs go a little bit different. Momo would still barricade the door to well the rock to the missile being part of the villain team. However, Tifa would basically go out to take care of both well Jiro and Kaminari actually. Since with her quirks with her superhuman in with her superhuman speed, she takes care of them pretty easily. Not only that, with her martial arts that she's learned by Zangan back when she was still living in the States, she takes care of them pretty easily without them even noticing, causing them to win, actually. So, once again, a couple of things change a little bit. Sorry I didn't go into much detail with the last one. With Izuku winning the exam, Bakugo still tries to leap leave the school actually early 
maybe even, well, drop out because he knows that Izuku has grown even stronger than him and still growing stronger still. As Izuku saying, you're really leaving after all the boasting you did back when you were kids. You're, st you're seriously doing this, Kachan. As he says, what's it to you? You're so much stronger than me now. I can't even, didn't even lay, I only laid one scratch on you and you knocked me out. As he said, my accident. I didn't meant for that to happen. It just proved, and in all it seems, it proves that you're still growing stronger. And I still can't beat you. As Izuku cuts him off and says, then prove that you're better than me. Prove that you can be a hero. Prove that you can show that you can be the number one hero. I still think you have the chance to be a great hero, Kachan. You just need to change that attitude. It's the main reason why I can't respect you anymore. So that's the very reason why. But I still want to see you excel as a hero. It's your choice, Kachan. I'm not forcing you to come back to UA. You can choose to drop out all you want. But I'm saying you won't have much of a, it won't be much of a rivalry between us anymore. And I'll chew. As he says, Don't you dare look down on me again, Deku. I swear, I will be a great hero. I'll be the number one hero. Just you wait. You damn nerd. As Izuku heads back into UA with a big smile on his face. And that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Sorry it was a little bit long. I wanted to make this a little bit, bit longer than usual. This is the only time actually. So tell me what you guys think in the comments below. Please leave a like helps, and subscribe. Helps out my channel a lot. At any rate, this is Liamuki signing out. Later.